what's up guys so today uh, we actually got a couple mods here but first off uh, we just got our battery replaced because uh, our stock battery started dying on us after a couple days and we got a battery from Costco which is the AGM uh, H6 battery and that's really strong and it's going to deliver a lot of power for the car especially for what we're going to be putting on in the next couple of days and we're actually going to be taking this car to uh, a shop and it's Reimagine Wraps. It's our number one trusted person that we always go to when we get stuff done big like this. And they are specialized for wraps and they also are specialized for bags now. So Reimagine Wraps is specialized for doing full body wraps on your cars. And they actually started doing some bag installs and they did it with four or five of our friends already. And uh, they actually got a really good job on that. And they're, they're really enjoying it. So we're going to be doing it to this car. Here are the parts. And all I know is that my savings are hurting right now. Looking at all of these parts is just making me like, whoa, uh, did I do the right choice in getting all of this? Because I could have gotten another car with this. Just kidding. But uh, here are the parts and we got pretty much everything. We're actually going to take the car to the shop tomorrow. And this is part one of our video. We're just going to show you the parts that we got right now. And then the next part will be installing it and also uh, testing it out and all of that. So let's start off with the parts here. So these bright blue parts are the Megan Racing camber arms and toes. And if you want to get a, a wheel set that's like this, like a 10 and a half wheel, you're going to need to have camber arms or else you're going to be hitting that uh, fender or that uh, quarter panel. We actually hit it a little bit, so we want to like camber it in so it'll tuck inside. So that's why we got these camber arms. And it's crazy how nice they look. Look at, look at this blue. And it's like that powder coat. I actually wanted to wrap our old car in this color. And it's funny how it's going to be just going under the car so you won't be able to see it. So we're going to be trying to go with a negative three camber. We might need to go more since our wheel is a ten and a half wheel. But uh, we just want to have our wheels to tuck inside so it doesn't need to like bump into anything and all that. And you could air out pretty nice. And we also got the toes for the adjustments as well. And the real thing here are the bags. And we got the front struts and the rear struts. but these are actually the shocks for the back. And we got air demand suspension. Uh, actually, a lot of Teslas are using this suspension. So the bags that we have are double bellow bags, and they're actually pretty big for what they are. And um, hopefully they'll give us a nice ride, and it's probably gonna be just as good as stock or even this iBox suspension, which this is really, really soft on our suspension right now. And that's why it's kind of bouncy on the back, and we're kind of hitting the the little fender liner inside, so we want to get a little bit of a stiffer ride. And we also got the airlift uh, management system. This one is the 3P, and there's actually like three of them, the 3S, the 3P, and there's a 3H with height sensors. This one's the one in the middle, and a lot of people go with this uh, setup. So back then during the pandemic, they actually had a back order on these management systems and it took them around uh, one to two months just to get them shipped here. And that's why he waited so long, our, our friend. And now it's here and he just sold it to us because he went a different route. But anyways, um, there are two compressors here. He, we first started off with one, but we actually ordered two more. We're gonna give one away to one of our friends. And these are the Viair 444C compressors. And these ones should be pretty good. And we got a four gallon polished tank from Airlift. And this one looks really, really nice in our trunk when we have that setup. And we have a LED light from LastFit and it makes it pop. So we're gonna show you that later and test fit it in the trunk. And we're gonna show you how it looks. And uh, these are the steel braided airlines that came in the, uh, the package with the air demand suspension. So over here, we actually have uh, 60 feet of uh, 1 fourth inch line. And we actually went with 1 fourth inch line because we want the slower air down 
They have the 3 8 inch ones, but that one actually airs up pretty fast and it would look kind of scary when it went down in the videos. And uh, we're going to be putting this along the whole car and that'll give us our nice slow-mo effect going down. And here is the harness for the ECU. This one's going to be powering up the compressor. But if you do rock two compressors, you're going to need to get a secondary harness for this second uh, compressor. So we learned that the hard way. Uh, we actually were looking around uh, asking what, what they did with their setups and they said, oh, you need a second harness. And we were like, oh, and we checked online and it was like an extra hundred dollars for the, the harness. So uh, make sure you have everything. Don't go to the shop and you're missing some stuff. And then the one that gives us the most headaches when we're getting all these parts, the, the valves, the check valves, water traps, everything. We didn't even know we even needed this until some of our friends were like, oh, did you get a water trap? Oh, you need these fittings. And we're like, oh gosh. <laughs> So uh, we got some water traps for each of the compressors. We might just use one. Uh, that one actually will get rid of any water from the tank from buildup inside. And we got some elbow fittings. We got um, some check valves for the compressors and some more fittings and all of that. And, we, and make sure to get Teflon tape or something to seal all of the seals because that's a, a failure point for a lot of bag cars and people were saying that they forgot to put it on so it started to make a low leak and make sure to put this on. So if you're wanting to bag your car, make sure you have all the parts and do a lot of research. We did uh, weeks of research. We didn't even know we needed to get camber arms for our car or we didn't need to get uh, these water traps. So um, just from our experiences, uh, get some check valves, get some water traps, um, get camber arms if you're going to get some big wheels and get a secondary harness for your uh, second compressor. So getting into more detail with the bags, uh, we got the shocks here and our car comes with um, springs separated from the shocks in the back so this is why uh, the bag isn't like attached and there's actually a adjustment for the dampening if you want to have a more stiff ride, if you want to have a softer ride you just need to adjust it here. This should be on all of the different bags that you could get. And uh, you just need to turn this knob if you hear the click and all of that. It's around like 30 clicks here. You could go left or right. We're actually putting this around the middle, maybe around 17 or 18. So it has a little bit more of a, a stiff ride. And that's about it for the shock. And the rear bag is just this, which is kind of cool. You're just gonna be putting the airline right here. And that's pretty much it. And then the front is an uh, integration within the, the shock and the actual bag. And you get to adjust your dampening system on the top. So that's pretty cool. And I, I'm not gonna get into detail with that. You could look on other bags too on um, how to adjust this, but we're gonna get this done at the shop. And that's pretty much the walk around for the whole bag setup that we're gonna get. So we're going to be test fitting it on the back of the, the car so we could show you what it looks like. We're going to be sacrificing a lot of uh, trunk space for this. Okay, so that's it. We're going to be putting it in the car now. We're going to be packing this up and getting it ready for it to be installed. Just remember, uh, get the right parts, make sure you do your research, and like us, uh, if you're gonna get good wheels and pretty big wheels like those VIP wheels, then get camber arms. You don't wanna uh, get this installed first and then get camber arms after and you're gonna realize, oh wait, I have to pay more for the install again. So just get everything done at once. Uh, if you wanna get two compressors, that's cool because if it, one gets broken or something like that, you got a secondary spare. And make sure you have the right fittings um, yeah, that's my little tips for you guys.
So that's it. And based on what we heard on a lot of people, this is a commitment and uh, hopefully we don't have any problems with it. Wish us luck. And we're probably gonna be doing some monthly maintenance now, especially with the, the air suspension. The iBox springs, we don't even need to do anything about it. I'm really excited to get this thing inside of our car and installed. And we actually wanna drive higher than this setup right now. And it's all about who you are uh, and what your preferences are. If you wanna drive low, you wanna be a low rider, or if you wanna just drive as stock as possible. Uh, we wanna drive stock and also like air out in the, the parking lots and even at the car meets and all of that. So it's nice and fun. This is gonna let us get uh, really like into this car. And we actually were like planning to sell this car because of the, the high car prices. But well, since we're getting the bags, well, we're gonna keep this car for way longer now. And that's about it. So stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna install this as soon as possible. We're gonna do it tomorrow and we'll start posting things once this thing is installed. So we'll see you in the next video. So here's the trunk setup that we wanna have and it looks really nice under the last fit light. Shout out to last fit for these uh, valence lights. And that really makes pretty much the whole entire trunk complete. And we have the two compressors here and the airlift performance management system. And I know a lot of people uh, like to flip this sign here and we actually might do it so we could make it look cleaner so it'll look like that. But we're the, of course the logo is gonna be flipped. So that's probably what we're gonna be doing. Even though it's gonna sacrifice our trunk space, we could put it in the back seat, just like how all of the the bag riders are te technically. And uh, this actually looks pretty cool because I noticed that a lot of uh, bag cars, their tanks are all the way in the inside and you might need to bend down to see it or something. So uh, that's really nice. We're gonna be doing this setup and hopefully everything goes well. So I know a lot of people use custom trunks like the wood flooring or even where the spare wheel is at, but baby steps, baby steps. We're gonna use this for now and if everything looks good, we might just leave it like that. Or if it gets a little old on us, then we're gonna be putting wood flooring, but that's in the future. We just wanna have the bags working and everything like nice and tucked in. So maybe, maybe some wood flooring.